Welcome to your eighth tutorial on beginning Java. In the last tutorial, we dealt with if-else statements, and those are good for situations when you only have two possible conditions, such as a true-false situation. But there are going to be instances where you'll be testing multiple conditions, and you could use if and else statements to accomplish that, but you'd have to do uh, you'd have to chain those to handle all the different conditions and that's just not the best practice so the best way to accomplish that is to use the switch statement and we'll get into that right now so let's create our variable so we're going to do an int we're going to name this field goal and we're going to say field goal equals three So now let's kick off the switch statement, and you do that by just typing switch, and then open parenthesis, and the variable we're going to be testing against here will be field goal, so we're going to put that in here, and after that we will type in a curly brace, and actually we can give our, you'll need quite a bit of space here because we're going to put in all of our statements here and the good thing about this is you don't have to use any more curly braces that's it everything goes within these curly braces for the switch statement the switch statement uses something called case statements and those are used to test the variable in the switch statement against the specific value so instead of having to type out a bunch of if statements you can just use these things called case statements and each one of these go in the block statement these squiggly braces here the switch block statement so type in case and then put a six in followed by a full colon yes not a semicolon a full colon now what this is doing here is we, we gave the case its own value of six and this is going to be tested against the switch statements value field goal which of course is three so let's create some output for this case in case they match now we know it will not but in case it did hit this we will do a system let's actually put that on another line system.out.print and say this is a touchdown we'll follow that by a break now what a break does is if field goal equals six then we can just exit out of the program at this point and end it it matched and it's over at that point if it does not match then it moves on to the next case okay so let's create some more cases here within our switch block of statements and we'll give this a value of two and say this is a safety And let's just do a few more here and we'll say this is a case let's actually align this a little bit better we'll say this is we'll assign this a value of three say this is a field goal and we'll create one more case and give this some arbitrarily really high number three thousand and say this is an impossible score so what this is going to do in this block of statements is come down and check each of these values and when it matches one it'll break and exit the program at that point and so let's go ahead and run this and we get this as a field goal because it matched on this case this value of three matched the switches value which is also three and then it printed this out and you'll notice that it bro it broke after this and it did not even have to do a compare against this final arbitrarily high number now you might ask what happens when none of the case statements match the value in the switches variable and in that case we will have to create another parameter called default we'll follow that by a full colon and we're going to do a system.out.print and we will write here nothing matches at all you lose 
and we will also follow that by a break because we are going to exit out of the program at that point. Let's close the output window here and let's go ahead and change this three because obviously we'll hit this case and it'll break so and we don't want that to happen so let's just put another really high number here. Crazy, well no, not letters, I was getting a little out of control there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this program and it should hit the default here and say nothing matches at all, you lose. So let's go ahead and run this and very quickly we got nothing matches at all, you lose. So to summarize this one more time, again, we're creating a variable here called field goal. It's three. We created our switch statement here and put in the variable, and the value of that had a three. Then we created all of these cases to test to see whether the cases value matches the switches value. And in this case, it did not, so it moved on. It went to this case, and that value is two. It did not. Um, and in this, in this case, it, di it would match because we just got rid of all those zeros and the program would exit. So that's pretty much it for switch statements and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.